Hello, hello everyone. My name is Kwame, aka Yao, aka the person delivering these messages to you. And today I have a specific message for my divine masculines out there. Um, so this could be for karmic masculines with karmics with a masculine energy. If you want to come in, come in. And this can also be for people of divine light who have just gotten out of a karmic relationship recently, or you um, define yourself generally as a divine, divine period, a divine masculine. Okay. So, um, I recently just got done doing a divine feminine video and they were very like aligned and connected. So just a brief overview of that. Um, I got a channeled, uh, I got a channeled song for both the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And then I've also been getting like channeled numbers. I've literally been seeing numbers on on the screen. And um, the main one that I've been seeing lately is 1256. And girl, every time I looked at it, every single time, every time I looked at that, I would be like, uh, what about the three and the four? Like, <laughs> why are the three and the four getting neglected right now? I don't understand. Um, and I just, I didn't understand in the beginning why I was so like, adamant about wanting to include three the three and the four when i saw that number usually when i see a number i just try to find out what the numbers mean specifically but in this situation i was like why like why not the three and the four <laughs> type shit <laughs> if you watch my other video you know why i'm laughing but anyways um what i had realized with all of that with all of that um self-reflection and being like why um, it made me realize that I, I am a person of, even though I'm a male, I have divine feminine energy within me. Um, I am majority of, you know, between yin and yang, I am yin energy. I'm very feminine in the way that I present myself. In the buildup, the astrological makeup of my zodiac signs, I am 60% yin. So that makes me feminine. Um, and the more that I grow and heal myself, and uh, become faithful in the divine, that makes me the character of divine feminine. And so now that I've kind of broken down all those definitions, which I didn't do in the other video, so maybe I'll preach to watch both of them, but um, that leads me to the divine masculine. It made me realize that the number 1256 that I kept seeing was for the divine masculine or masculine energy in general. Um, now, when we're talking about numbers, uh, that each number has a energetic signature to it. And so like the three and the four currently are being used for feminine energy. One, two, five, and six are being used for divine masculine energy. Now, before I get any further into that, I'm going to go ahead. I don't know why I want to do this. I'm going to go. <laughs> the fuck? I'm going to go ahead and... Um, what does that mean? I, cause I didn't do that for no fucking reason. Three, two, one could be significant. What the fuck? There's a lot. Divine masculines, you could be going through a lot right now. Um, you could be wanting to like scramble and not in a bad way, but just like trying to have your wits about you and wanting to redirect your energy in, an, in a focus that's right for you. So you could have a lot of shit around you. You could have a lot of um things that seem like because this is the color yellow wow like why did i do this okay yeah this is important um things th the color yellow represents joy happiness fulfillment um and like financial abundance as well especially in the tarot deck so there could be a lot of things distracting you at this very point or they did distract you you could have had things that seemed like shiny trophies and things that really caught your eye or caught your attention. Wow. And you've been able to go through what you needed to go through, 424 could be significant, to know that a lot of these things may not have been right for you type shit. They're cute, right? Oh, this is perfect. They're cute and they're motherfucking like, you know, they, they may seem like they give 444 could be significant having a high value to you. But in reality, you now realize through your experiences that that is just simply not the case. And that the true diamonds are within yourself. 
and then within other people who are willing to match said energy. And for a long time, you guys could have been giving your energy out to people who may have been a little low vibrational, a little bit karmic, and a little bit not on your level at all because you wanted to maybe prove a point. 515 could be significant, but we're past that now. I see you guys being past that. You have the discernment enough to know what is good necessarily and what is bad. Now, are you moving towards doing something with that knowledge at this very moment? Maybe not. And that's understandable because we're all trying to get ourselves together, but all in different ways and in different timings and timelines. Um, and the divine masculine, you are definitely in a different timeline than the divine feminines. And like I said, that's completely okay because 555 could be significant. We are changing shit up. We are changing shit up to know what needs to actually be in our focal points at this point. So you, like I said, could have been breaking off from like karmics. Um, and with that knowledge, with you realizing what's good, with, with, with what's bad for you, you're now, your eye is opened up to what is good for you. And that may be the divine feminine. <laughs> um, and the channeled song that I got for y'all, which kind of like backs everything I was just saying, was Guy Like Me by John Legend, okay? <sighs> so, uh, so like you may have been like broken um, and like just getting over like a karmic cycle and you've now had time to like sit with yourself and reflect, I literally, everything I was just saying, um, but you could be confused on your next steps going forward um but you do you know what you, so like what i'm trying to say is you know what you don't want um and that made you know what you do want and that's that fine ass divine feminine point blank period um so i'm gonna go into like the lyrics and then like the title as well 717 could be significant but oh boy john legend he said Thought I was good, but damn, you make me better. See, some girls overrated, beautiful, and jaded. On a scale of 1 to 10, you more like an 80. Can't believe all the wrongs I did just to get it right. All right? <laughs> so definitely a lot to uncover with that. The first thing I see is thought I was good, but damn. Oh, well, hold on. One second. Pause. Okay. So it's like um, through through this uh, channeled message, through, through this channeled song, I am literally seeing, like, from an outside perspective, that you guys have grown and you guys have learned. Um, however, there is still a bit of learning to do. Um, 808 could be significant, especially on what you guys are wanting to do with yourself going forward. Because you have a lot of, you you've gotten, you've taken your energy out of a lot of situations that were karmic for you, a lot of situations that weren't good for you. So this could be, this could not even be talking about an ex-partner, an ex-love. This could be talking about an addiction like alcohol or weed or just literal sex addictions that made your energy low vibrational and unmatching to the divine feminine who kind of like elevated a little bit further from that situation. Um, you've been able to take your energy out of those situations. And so now you have a lot of free energy is what I'm getting. And one thing that is still lingering with you from the past is um, what I'm getting is like that, that addictive energy, that lusty energy. You've taken it out of the places you know are not good for you, but that doesn't mean that you have grown and healed enough to be able to break out of the general cycle of being in a state of lack or a state of addiction, right? So you could um, have all this free energy and you see what's good for you now. And so now all you want to do is go f for the girl. Like, you want to probably go, like... You you are most likely having uh, lots of sexual um, fantasies at this time. Maybe dreams of the divine feminine. Maybe wanting to really have, like, sex with her. Or, and when I say her, I mean I'm talking about energy. Feminine energy. You may be wanting to go and get a little frisky. Or kind of be bold um, and like do do what you usually do. But from what I'm getting, 
especially from this message and then also the numbers y'all received, is that y'all are going to need to take a pause, okay, before y'all do this. So I'm going to show y'all what I saw in this that made me know what I just said, that y'all need to take a pause. Um, and part of that is, like I said, that sentence talking about some thought I was good, but damn, you make me better. So like, you know, this is a song about a girl, right? But when we look at the title of the song, it says, guy like me. It's not saying girl like you, bitch. It's saying guy like me in the realms of like, oh, okay, I think this girl is good for a guy like me. So, mm, suspect. Um, the thought I was good, but damn, you make me better. It's kind of showing that the divine masculines at this time, it's like you see the worth of the divine feminine, um, which, is a, a, which is a step up because you didn't see the worth of her before. You didn't see the worth of her because because you saw the way that you did things as like a business transaction. You saw the worth of like people who were in your life to give you good things. 11-11 could be significant. You saw it as them as just giving you good things um, and not really seeing the person or the purpose or the intention behind what the divine feminine was giving to you when y'all were in a cycle together. Right, so now that you've broken off, you're seeing her worth, but then also take a look at this. Can't believe all the wrongs I did just to get it right, all right? So you knew that the Divine Feminine was always special, but now you're getting that times two confirmation. And so it's like kind of, it's kind of like all things are being put in front of your face now. You see the good, you see the bad, you see the fucking ugly, goddammit. And you're like, okay, now what, what are my next steps? What do I do with this? There hasn't been any approaching, even though we just got done with uh, good old Scorpio full moon. There hasn't been much of exposing or approaching, but there sure has been deep reflection and ridding of things that are no longer good for us. So you could have literally just gotten rid of your karmic bitch. <laughs> um, so good for you, props for you. I'm, I'm not shitting on y'all when I'm like making these videos and I'm not trying to make it seem like the divine masculine energy is just bullshit, okay? It's just that y'all have, y'all are in a pathway that the divine feminines have already gone through. And when I speak, I'm trying to speak to y'all in a way that allows y'all to understand um, just how things are going astrologically in the realms of like masculine and feminine energy without being biased or judgmental. Because, I mean, like, you know, just as there is divine feminine energy and then there's just regular feminine energy, just as there is divine masculine energy and then there is regular masculine energy, both energies have the ability to have free will and not accomplish what they need to accomplish in life. They can both be karmic and they can both be kind of like sitting in their funk, acting like their shit don't stink, right? Y'all just did that for a little extra period of time and it was meant to happen. 13, 13 could be significant. But now that you're out of that, there's no need to be offended by what I say. Um, just take it for what it is and um, learn from it. Just about, like for real. It's okay. I love you too. <laughs> okay, so um, now going into the numbers for you guys. So I literally kept seeing this over and over again. Uh, 1256. So I'm gonna explain each of those in specifics. So you have the number one energy, which talks about um, thought. It talks about um, deep thought. You cannot have action or creativity without the beginning thought, right? So you guys are now thinking about everything that has happened and you are putting action not into other people at this time, but you're putting action into yourself in the realms of, I am taking the action, 1414, to pull myself out of certain situations that are no longer serving me for my highest good. So that is the thought, and then that was the action that came along with it. So now with this, you guys have skipped over numbers three and four, which is creativity and structure. And you are now in that energy of being like, I'm free. God, I can breathe. Like I am no longer having to deal with all of that bullshit that I was just dealing with. Congratulations. But um, yes, five is the, is the number and the energy of 
being free, having freedom and um, kind of doing things in a um, rebellious manner. And it's not in a like, it's not in a bad way, but it's kind of like I'm going on on my own accord. I'm not being controlled by anybody any longer. That's what the number five is. And then the number six is um, wanting to bring in balance and harmony into your life, right? And so this is where the divine feminine comes in at. You're, instead of going towards the three and the four um, to kind of know what your next steps are and like what you're doing with all this energy, what you're wanting to create for yourself, how you want to go about building a, um, uh, a firm foundation for yourself before anybody else, you're skipping those and you're wanting to be free and do what the fuck you want and also get the bag, aka the divine feminine. What y'all have to learn here is that the divine feminine is not a bag. Yes, she's a dying motherfucking piece and that bitch is fine as fuck and she might be good at that. But that's not the bag, okay? That that was the lesson that y'all did not learn in the past, which was seeing things 1616 as objects. You were seeing things as things of less than of you, um, than being equal to you. So before you can go out and find that balance and harmony with another person, um, and truly be free. Um, from the the clutches and the the reins of like other people, their energy and their intentions for you, you have to backtrack a little bit and you have to start all the way back at the one, okay? And be like, okay, I, I see everything in front of my face. Now, what do I do with this? How do I go about making this better for me? <sighs> Once you do that, you'll now have the creative energy and the creative ability to move forward with creating a foundation a structure for all those things that you have now thought of and are wanting to manifest um so you really need to go on that self journey first is what i'm getting from all this you need to go on that um healing and um yeah that that self-love and that healing journey point blank period because until you do um, you're, you will be very, very susceptible to repeating a cycle because it's like you're trying to find, you need to change your mentality as well. I just got like change, change the way you think about things. That's what, like I said, go all the way back to the one, the thought, change the way you think about things because in the current way that you're thinking, it's not going to get you what you want. You're currently in, you're not in a lack ment mentality, um, but you are in lack. Like you just got out of a situation. You are damaged, you are hurt, you are unhealed. So you need to go fix that, okay? You need to know how to, you need to know how to love yourself. You need to know how to take care of yourself in a feminine-esque way, nurturing and taking care of yourself. Um, and then also with your masculine energy, keep doing what you're doing, but do it in a way that is helping other people do it in a way that is being significant and not just like draining that energy into places that are going nowhere type shit. Once you do both of those things, then you'll be at an equal level to um, the divine feminine where y'all both now have a foundation and a structure of who you are as people, what you're wanting to go for in life, who you want in a partner, which you will realize by taking care of yourself. And then there can be love and connection and kumbaya. And those two energies, the divine fe feminine and divine masculine energies, when they're not trying to fill up empty cups, when they are both full and when they are both abundant as fuck, when they are both um, having the intuitive nudges and the wisdom enough to make the right decisions in life for them and for other people, that is when a divine feminine and a divine masculine can then come together to create beautiful things on earth. Now, divine feminine, they had just recently got in a period of embracing both their masculine and feminine sides. They had to balance both of these within themselves. Because remember how I was saying I am a feminine energy? I am the 60% yin energy. I also have 40% masculine energy in me and I can't just neglect that shit. 
or else I will be an imbalance of a person. So in order for me to become my full empress energy, my full divine feminine energy, I had to be full within myself. I had to know not only how to dominate in the physical 3D realm, I also needed to know how to nurture myself and other people and take it slow and have this mental, physical, and spiritual awareness of life. Now, taking myself out of the example, when it comes to that and then the divine masculine, when you put the emperor, which is divine masculine and feminine energy put together, and the empress, which is divine masculine and feminine energy put together, but both of them having one more than the other, when you put those two together, it is literally, it's not even times two, y'all. It is so fucking amplified. When two people of those type of energies can come together, nothing is um, impossible, right? So divine masculine, please make sure that you are embracing your um, three and four energy. You have a thought, you are putting action towards it, but make sure that you are creating a firm structure, not only for the people around you, but most importantly yourself. Learn to take care of yourself in any way you need possible and this will be your next steps towards healing and growing in a way that is in alignment with the divine itself okay so that was the message i had for you guys today that was a little longer than expected but i'm glad i hope that you guys are like actually paying attention and like listening to the advice that comes in these videos i know i'm like mad divine feminine strong type shit but like we're all in this shit together okay we ain't getting out unless we do this shit together so really take my messages, not with no grain of salt. Take the whole fucking picture of salt and do what you need to do with it, okay? But I love you guys and I hope you guys have a good day. I hope this message resonated with you well and I hope that it lit a fire under your ass, okay? I will see you later for another message and y'all have a good day and make good choices. Bye.